Welcome back. New at 10, Rustic Cuff founder Jill Donovan channeled embarrassment into one of the nation's most popular fashion trends. She works for you anchor Tania Wright brings us an exclusive look inside the creative mind of a Tulsa entrepreneur. Her story is one that has women lining up and camping out. I don't think I could have dreamt this up if I tried. But Jill Donovan's success was born from failure. It's as if the world stops for that minute and everything was in slow motion. As she sat next to one of the world's most famous women, etiquette experts told her her chronic regifting was tacky. I emptied out the whole gift closet. Jill returned to Tulsa <laughs> and decided to ignore the event seen by more than 20 million people. And I don't want to have anything to do with the memory of what was supposed to be a grand event in my life. Until one night, another television show gave her an idea. Why haven't I ever thought about making cuffs or learning how to make cuffs? And I did, and I became obsessed with it. And that obsession is now shared by thousands of other women, and Jill's business has grown to 175 employees, two retail locations, and thousands of loyal customers. I never asked for it. I didn't know that was going to happen. As her success grew, so did her understanding of her life's course. Show me what we have for St. Patrick's. I remember a couple hours later after the show aired, I said to my husband, I don't know what this means, but I know this is someday going to have a purpose in my life. Thank you, Jill. The purpose, she says, is not about adorning women's wrist. That it really became about something other than cuffs. It's about turning your mess into a message. It's really about kindness. It's about doing random things for people. And cuffs just happen to be the vehicle or the venue to do that. If the crowds camped outside of her stores weren't enough reassurance of her success, Jill points back to the woman who motivated her, Oprah, in a phone call from O Magazine's creative director. And he said, congratulations, you've made it on the cover of Oprah. And on Oprah's wrist, a rustic cuff. The full circle moment for me was that it was a cuff that I had given to Gail King, her best friend, who then, I assumed, regifted it to Oprah. Failure had come full circle. In Tulsa, Tania Wright, Two works for you.